Hey everyone, how are you all doing? So we're taking a look at the Metacom Mafex DC Hush Superman figure, and this figure is long overdue. It was pushed back because of everything that happened last year and just from General Mafex, and it's finally out, and I'm so freaking excited to review this. This figure is absolutely amazing. But before we get into the figure, I would like to talk about real quick uh, the diorama. So I told you in, was it the Moff Gideon? video, I think I mentioned it, that I was working on a 3D diorama, I actually made two, and I will be showing these off in a, uh, an upcoming video, so yeah, I'm very proud of this 3D diorama, and I actually plan on making more, and maybe even starting to uh, sell some, so if you all are interested in that, um, let me know down in the comments what kind you'd like to see, and all that kind of stuff, but anyway, let's take a look at what Superman comes with. Out of the box, he comes with the two fists that you can see on the figure right now, then he comes with two flight hands, which are they gonna... Come on, you gonna focus here? Oh, come on, is it really not going to? Comes with these two flight hands, which these are pretty nice. You know, they're just standard Superman flight hands. You can see all the different hand detailing and stuff. You got the nails sculpted in and everything. So these are pretty nice. He comes with two relaxed hands, same exact kind of detailing on them. They're just standard relaxed hands that we get with all my fixed figures now, which is pretty good. Comes with two super grips, <laughs> super grips. And these are pretty nice. They got the same detailing as all the other hands. And what's pretty cool is, I will show you in a minute, you can get him into the, uh, that kind of Superman pose where he has his hands together and he's getting ready to, like, super hit somebody. So that's pretty cool. He comes with two of the cape holding hands that came with Batman, but these actually have the nails sculpted on them. So I don't know what the point of these are because he doesn't hold his cape. But I am going to use these for this. If you take a Batarang that came with Batman, you kind of jam it in there. See, I haven't tried this yet, so let's see if it's actually gonna work. Try and jam it in there like that. You can say that, you know, Batman just threw a Batarang at Superman and Superman caught it. Like, are you are you kidding me, Bruce? You threw a freaking Batarang at me? Like, come on, do you not know who I am? So you could do that with him. Comes with three Poison Ivy effects, which I kind of wish these had a little bit more of a, uh, like a wash to them or something. But they're not bad. You just pop off the hands, slide these over, and then put the hands back on there, and then you got those. And then this one is for the neck. I thought this was one piece, and you had to pop the head off, but it's not. It just kind of just kind of sits around his neck, so that's pretty cool. You can put this on really any figure you want, and I hope, 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 hope that this means we're going to get a Poison Ivy at some point, because we really do need a Poison Ivy, and I just, I you know, we need a Poison Ivy because she's an awesome character and it'd be cool. I think Mafex could really kill it if they did. Before we get into the final accessory, he also comes with a blue kryptonite ring hand for the blue version of Batman, which is pretty cool. Sadly, it's, you know, it would have been cool if he would have come with a blue and a black hand, so you could put it on both different Batmans, but this is pretty cool. All the same. And it, honestly, if you only had the black version of it, you all you could really do, all you had to do is just paint the hand. It wouldn't be that much of a problem. So, you know, not too big of a deal. And then the best accessory is by far the angry, are you gonna, you know, focus here? There we go. The angry Superman head. This looks so good. And he, he hasn't, he doesn't have too much gum showing like the, uh, the, uh, black suit Batman. And he's got just a little bit of red in the eyes and everything. I kind of wish that we had gotten a, uh, like maybe a, a smirking head. We don't get any happy faces with Superman anymore. And you know, he used to be so happy, <laughs> but you know, and I kind of wish we would have gotten like a, some effects of like him shooting out laser beams and stuff, you know, but it is what it is. And I'm, I'm pretty happy with what we got on him as it is. So now going over the detail of the figure, let's bring him up close real quick. Take a look at the head, this head. For some reason, my, f my camera is not auto focusing and I don't know why, but this head looks really good. This, the blue eyes, the curl, the hair sculpt, the paint applied, everything. It just looks so good. It's a little bit sloppy on the one side, but it, it just, this is Superman. This is undoubtedly Superman and undoubtedly um, Jim Lee's Superman from the Hush story. And you can see the cape right here. I think there's a little bit of glue on mine because there's like a little bit of a kind of faded red right here. Not a big deal though. Then we get down to the Superman logo, which is sculpted. So that's pretty cool. We got the, the shoulders. Why is this not focusing? I really don't know what's happening. But this, you know, his suit. I'm pretty sure none of this is reuse because he's not... Um, he's bigger than both Batman and Cyclops, so we've gotten those are the only two that I have. Got the belt down here. Mine has a little nick in it, not a big deal though. 
the red trunks, the yellow belt, you know, his hands, the boots, everything's all sculpted and everything. Um, just realizing that this is a little chipped, or not chipped, the paint is kind of missed on the boot here. But honestly, I couldn't even tell until it was on camera under, you know, my studio lights. So it's not really that big of a deal. And then for the cape, it's a nice fabric. I, kid, I can't tell you really what the fabric is. It's kind of, um, it's not the same fabric as what's on the Batmans, but it, I don't know. It's, it's a, it's a nice fabric. And then we got the S logo, which is pretty cool. The only problem that I have with the figure overall, but, um, just the, the cape itself and this S logo is the fact that it, the way they have it printed, it's like, it makes this, so this is very kind of stuck in this sort of flat position like this. So it, if you can see right here, it bunches up. So when you look at the figure like this, let's see if it's, it's not really coming well across that well on camera, but it kind of bunches up like this sometimes. And you just got to pull it down. It's not really that big of a deal. Thinking about gluing, like taking a little bit of just glue, putting it like on the backside of where this S is, and then just putting it there because then it'll pull the the cape itself down. It's not that big of a deal because I tried folding it, but that doesn't really help. But the paint is fantastic on this. The, like none of it's really missing on the S. None of it's like off. It kind of looked like at first that maybe right here underneath is Pex. It was missing, but it's not. It's just the way that the uh, chest is sculpted. Now going over articulation on Clark, his head can go up, let's see, using both of them, his head can go up this far, why is it, yeah, sometimes it sticks, I'm not sure what that's about, but his head can go up that far, can go down all the way, which is awesome, can tilt side to side, rotation at both the uh, base of the head and the neck, shoulders, he has butterfly joints, but the shoulders can go up that high, pretty damn good, rotate all the way around, biceps with multiple jointed elbows that go up all the way, Standard Mafex joints at the hands, butterfly joints, which can get the arms going all the way across, which is pretty cool. As for the standard Mafex waist joints, and I say standard, but this actually kind of blows the normal ones out of the water. So there's like, you know, there's a little bit, you can go back with the top one, you can go to the side with the top one, rotation, all that stuff. But whenever you use the uh, lower half of the torso, look at how far you can go. He can go all the way forward. That's fantastic for Superman. Like, wow, and you can go pretty much all the way back, too. So you can get him into, like, some super flight poses. I keep saying super, and I'm not meaning to. It's just happening. <laughs> My puns are completely accidental, but they're just so great. The legs, as with most Mafex figures, super tight. Please be careful. I've had none of them break when they're like this, but just, you know, just be careful. I, I keep saying that, that I've had none break when they're like that, but that's not true because uh, the Miles Morales from Into the Spider-Verse, he broke as soon as I got him out of the package. But that's because his joints were so flimsy. And I'm just, I I sent it back and I'm waiting for the I'm Sentinel one. I'm not going to get a replacement because that's just, I don't want to deal with it again. Double jointed knees. Seamless. Seamless. That's just beautiful. And then we got the normal Mafex hinges at the feet as well. And then Toe joints, which I still hate, and I will hate forever, as I will say in every video that has toe joints. But overall, the uh, the articulation on this figure is fantastic. Oh yeah, also, if it, in case it wasn't clear, the cape is wired, by the way. It's not super wired like the uh, other two Batmans, so that's good. It doesn't have 14 wires in it, it actually just has two, which is nice, because that's all we need in a cape. We don't need 40 freaking wires, but it's fine. Everything's fine. You can see as I switch the heads that the uh, the cape is riding a little high right here. I may glue the sides down too because the way they have the cape, it like goes up and over his shoulder instead of just kind of over his shoulder. It's not that big of a deal though. One thing to be careful of though, it's not really like something to be careful of, but just something to notice whenever you're messing with the figure is if the uh, the head, the neck can like kind of have a mind of its own. So like if you try to pop the head off, you may end up having the head sit down like this, so he looks like he's kind of hunched forward in that. Just push the head up, or push the neck up, rather, and the head up, and it, it'll look fine. Now let's get into some size comparisons. Here he is next to the Mafex uh, Hush Blue and Black variants of Batman, and this looks pretty good. He's a little bit taller than Superman. I'm not quite sure what that's about, because I originally thought that he was not, but... It could just be maybe the uh, torso. No, because I'm looking at the torso right now. He's not like off to the side or anything. I'm not sure why it's coming across as like on this on camera, but it looks like Batman's beefier than him, but he's not, I promise. In person, he's a lot like thicker. Superman's a lot like Superman's thick with like four C's and a Q and stuff. He's he's pretty damn big. And yeah, this looks good. I like this. I'm very excited uh, to take some pictures with these 
Here he is next to the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Action Comics 1000 Superman and the Mafex Justice League Henry Cavill Superman. And I think this is pretty solid. This is a uh, pretty solid standing. Um, obviously, you know, 7-inch scale, true 6-inch scale with these two. And sadly, you can't switch the heads. So if you wanted to put, like, the comic Superman on there, the Henry Cavill head on that body, it doesn't work. Um, probably if you, you know, put some sticky tack on the uh, Henry Cavill head, it would fit on that one. Because the peg on comic Superman is smaller than on uh, Henry Cavill. But it could work. You know, you could fudge it. And then here he is next to the Marvel Legends Spider-Man. The new Spider-Man, the retro Spider-Man, whatever you want to call him. Uh, the good Spider-Man. How about that? And then the Mezco Supreme Knight Batman. So if you have the Mezco Batman or if you're like a, you know, you want to put Superman with your Marvel Legends, I think this works. His head is a bit small, like just, I mean, kind of in general, it's his head like is just the teeny tiniest little bit small. So it looks a little strange, but like whenever you have him next to figures that have proportionally sized heads or bigger heads, but like here, let's bring in the Bruce Wayne head for a second to just show you how the like the size difference in the heads it just Bruce's head's like a lot bigger but it's really not that big of a deal um because like whenever you get him in like action poses and stuff like that it's fine it's just in the vanilla pose that it's kind of that you just kind of notice it a little bit also his arms can go down more than this it's just you gotta like rise up the shoulders and then bring the arms down so like he's not just stuck in that kind of uh beefy pose you know but overall, I really enjoy this figure, and I think you will too if you're a Superman fan, you're a Mafix fan, if you're just an action figure fan, and you were like, oh, you know, I like Superman kind of a little bit, maybe I'll get this figure, this be my first Superman figure or something. You know, whatever your circumstance may be, you're going to like this figure, because this is fantastic. It's just amazing. Like, I, I really can't, I can't gush over this figure enough. And it's not even like a new figure, you know, like how I was with the uh, the, with the Hush Batman originally when I was like, oh, it's the best figure ever made, and now I still think it's an amazing figure, it's just, you know, the cape I got over, I got over the hype, and I'm like, oh my god, I hate that cape so much, aka why I switched the cape out on this one, but I don't think I'm gonna do that on this one, because I really like the cape on it, I just only have the problem of the, uh, the back of it bunching up a little bit, but as I said, I think I might just put a little tiny little drop of glue, whatever glue I can find that'll, you know, hopefully won't ruin anything, but yeah, so let me know what you thought about this review. Well, let me know what you think about uh, the diorama and stuff. And I will be changing it up here and there, you know, using different dioramas that I've made, switching out these walls, because I actually am more proud of the other two walls than I am this back one. But I just wanted to show this one off um, just to have Bane busting through the wall back there. And let me know what kind you want to see in the future, what kind of dioramas you'd like to see. Again, let me know if you guys would be interested in um, buying dioramas like this that I make, because... Um, I had a lot of fun making this, and I'd like to make more and, you know, sell them and stuff like that. If you guys are interested, if there's a market for it among you guys and all that stuff. So, yeah, let me know what you uh, think about all that down in the comments below. And I will see you uh, in the next video, which will be reviewing the Mafex Into the Spider-Verse Peter B. Parker, because that is actually supposed to be here today. But I doubt that it will be because it says that it's like 10 to 12 hours away from where I am. So I doubt that's going to be here today. <laughs> But, you know, hey, it'll get here when it gets here. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one.